go over the scalper. So the scalper is going to be released. Okay, so let's go over the release date. And the scalper is released uh, Monday, June 10th with a PDF. So Monday, June 10th, you're going to have it all in your mailboxes. June 10th, mark it down. If you're new to the room, like some of you guys will be new to the room, your subscription to the room won't start until the 10th when the scalper is released. So just heads up on that. You know, you got some free time in the room this week. Um, so you you won't actually start till the 10th as your start date in the trading room when uh, some of you that uh, that just signed up with us. So the 10th is your start date. So, but we will, um, uh, the scalper is, w w what does it try to do? Well, we know that what we have right now, the system we have out to all you traders, is we have these zone breaks. And what these zone breaks do, this is yesterday's price action. What the zone breaks try to do is we are trying to buy high and sell higher on these breakouts. Buy high and sell higher when the market gets imbalanced. That's the whole idea. So as you can tell, when we broke out a market profile, market profile, yesterday there's a big hole in the market. Here's when we broke out a market profile. So we were balanced. So the software we have running for you guys in the room, and I'm going to show you how this ties in with the scalper in a second. This is a balanced market. When you're in between high value and low value, prices in between it. Once we broke outside a high value area here, the market becomes what's called imbalanced. This is all the trading participants in the market. That's not my opinion. That's not your opinion. This is looking at all the volume coming in the market. So when you break out into an imbalanced market, that means there's no underlying support and no underlying resistance. So that means you're looking for zone breakouts, setting new highs and setting new lows. So this is a balanced market right that's balanced and then you become imbalanced so when we become imbalanced the market has no resistance at all above it according to market profile from previous support and resistance levels it looks at high volume and low volume nodes in the market meaning it looks at high volume areas and low volume areas that create these natural support and resistance levels so it became imbalanced at this level we start closing outside a high value area. So when you get outside of that, right, you get outside of that, then you start moving. And then you look for what is called your zone breakouts, which we have the software. There's a zone breakout. So we have a software right now that will catch these zone breakouts. If you were to turn the software that members have currently now on, the great time to use that order, order manage, trade management system is when you break outside a profile to turn on zone breaks. So these zone breaks are very critical in an imbalanced market to use. Now, let's talk about the software then. Let's talk about our software that we're talking about getting into on the, um, the, the SIM software that we're releasing you guys. The SIM scalper, what it does, this is uh, some trades that's ran this morning. On the Nasdaq futures, and we'll get into it after news here. Uh, we'll get into some setups. Um, the Sim Scalper. I'm going to show you inside of the PDF how you can customize the Rinko bars. Now, with the the downfall of Rinko bars is you can't just go in here to historical data and hit historical data retest. I mean historical because Rinko bars are different than normal you know, time-based bars, meaning a minute bar, what have you. Because historical data looks at open, high, low, and close, where Rinko bar, you know, it, it will show you, it doesn't show you the whole travel of the whole bar on historical data. So to be accurate with the Rinko bar, if you're trying to fit a, a time, for, I mean, a Rinko size to your trading style, you must do two things. You must, A, you must forward test it, which is playback, market replay, right or, or it's called it's called playback in the ninja trader or two you must sim test it or or test it going forward sim test it before you live, live it in the market well i go over all that stuff in this pdf so this pdf i'm almost finished with it now um, it's in very very big detail I, i'm going to show you how to customize unirinko settings to increase the sim scalpers performance you don't have, we use a 120 and 110. I don't have enough real estate to show you all these different Rinko sizes and all these different combinations of the Uni Rinko.
but I want to show you how you can customize it to smooth out noise. The great thing, so the downfall of Renko bars is this. You can't just go in there and and use a, a, a back test and say, oh my God, that's going to do, live test is going to match up back testing. Doesn't work that way because a Renko bar is different. A Renko bar is different because in normal back testing only looks at open, high, low, and close. Well, Renko sort of has what's called a fake open and you don't see the whole travel of the whole bar on historical data. But if you go playback, and you go playback, and you playback going forward, which I'll show you how to do uh, in the PDF on how to use a playback, you can find out right away how you can simulate normal market conditions, volume, you know, the historical price of what it would do. And I show you charts how to do that in, uh, under the performance. So I go over everything in great detail in this PDF. Um, I'm still working on it now. Our release date, like I said, is uh, uh, the tenth, the tenth of uh, June. So Gerald's going to add, this is going to be on the download page with this PDF on the tenth of June. Tenth of June. That is the release date. I talked to Gerald this morning. He he's going to be ready to go. The PDF is going to be ready to go. But I go in great detail. The one thing that you're going to enjoy with this PDF, which I've never done in the past, I'm breaking this thing down exactly how you want to use and, and, and how to understand how to use you know this strategy based upon using Rinko bars versus a minute bar or a time-based bar so you know this will help a lot of traders out understanding how you can customize Uni Rinko settings listen we don't have to use like I said a 120 and a 11010 10. um, you know these are two we just use in the room to find breakouts you know we, we use those in the room to find breakouts but we can use, um, I can show you how to smooth Renko bars out with different Renko uh, uh, based uh, using the tick trend and the reversal trend. And I'm going to show you how you can smooth the NASDAQ out. You can smooth the um, S&P out. In fact, I'm going to show you how you can just go over market replay once you get this Monday on the ES. And I can show you one specific setting. And now listen, past performance is not indicative of future results. Just make sure we got that out very clear. This is educational software. But I'm going to show you how it was 93% accurate over the past month, taking all trades from 1.30 a.m. all the way to after 4 o'clock. I'll show you how you can run scenarios like that during playback. You, you don't want to do that in historical because historical, remember, Rinko bars, if you click historical, it's going to give you a whacked out prediction because it only looks at the open high low close Rinko bars open differently than normal uh, charts a new, more normal bar charts right so normal time based charts I show you how to use playback so you can find optimized settings like this I'm going to give you the optimized settings that I like personally and I'm going to show you what I've tested and it's going to be in the PDF it's going to be different than your standard 12020 or 11010 this is for members only. Uh, this is to smooth out the strategy. What it'll do, it will smooth these runs out for you in the S&P. It will smooth these runs out in the NASDAQ. And I'll show you how I can fit it towards your risk tolerance. Because the smoother you make it, the smoother you make it, the, the larger risk you're going to take. The, meaning your stop's going to be a little bit larger but if you want to take if you want to take a little bit of the smoothness out, you can bring your stops all the way down also, and I'll show you how to do that. So the cool thing about this scalper is it's customizable to fit to your trading style. So I'm going to show you what to play back so you get a feel for it um, on the accuracy of it, um, because I, that's what I think you'll love about this is that um, is the, the the accuracy of smoothing the Renko bars out. Not just uh, using a standard 11010 or 12020. Um, we'll show you how to smooth those out and 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 show you how you can do that. And, and like I said, uh, the release date on this will be we will be releasing this on June the 10th, and that will be at um, uh, Gerald release it during the day sometime on the download page uh, with this PDF. And like I said, it's in very big detail. I go over everything. <laughs> in this PDF. I go over when news events come out, customizing the Renko. Uh, you know, we go over 
everything right across the board, back testing the software, forward testing, how you don't want to back test it, you want to, you want to play back, do playback because that simulates market conditions. You, don't, you never want to use historical data on a Rinko bar. It's not going to be accurate, guys. And, I, you know, I, I let you guys I, I put this in the PDF. I, I, I'm going to try to shorten the learning curve if you never used Rinko bars before. I'm going to show you how you don't want to use backtesting. You want to use playback or you want to sim it going forward. And I'll show you how to do that um, to fit towards your trading, you know, style which is very, very important for you to understand. But like I said, um, these settings like this, uh, just by using different Renko sizes, you can smooth price action out uh, because then we, we're going to look for three setups. These three setups that this Renko scalper is going to do is it's going to look for our, um, it's going to look for our zone breaks, zone breakouts. It's going to look for that. It's going to look for our slingshot, outer edge slingshots. It's going to look for that. And that's going to look for our failure trades. And those are all inside of the strategy. And there's not really a lot you need to do with the strategy. You know, I, I go over every single one of these settings, all the settings, what they mean. I go over the ATR link, the trail ticks. All this stuff, what the counter means, unchecked or checked. I'll show you the difference in trades in the counter versus the trend. Um, all the trend filters, all the filters are built in. All the zone break data is built into this. It's a very simplistic strat. All the slingshots are built into this. All the failure trades are built into this. So it's a very, very, very simple strat to understand and to implement. And then what I'll show you how to do is I'll show you as soon as you get this Monday. As soon as you receive it in your mailbox, I'm going to show you what to put up on your chart and go into playback, right, under your settings. And I'll show you how to do this in the PDF. And just let it run on the historical data uh, on playback just for the last two months or last month, even just the last month. And look at the trades or why it's trading on a specific Brinko size. Look at the accuracy of it. And then what you can do is you can tweak it. Tweak it to whatever you want to do. Whatever size that you want to uh, tweak it to, you can tweak it to. And so these are the three things that will come out to. You can see that I'm going to educate you guys how to smooth Rico sizes out. Smooth out the noise. Smooth out this noise on these different markets. And then where it's not just a standard 110 or 120 that we use in the room, you know, for breakouts. Um, I'm going to show you how to smooth that out also. So, like I said, the release date is June the 10th. It is June the 10th with the PDF. It will be on your mailboxes. And like I said, some of you that are new that just signed up, um, if you're watching this video, um, your subscription date will start on the 10th. Let's say you signed up this week thinking this thing was going to get out to you right away. Um, I need a little bit more time to get the PDF done because I want everybody to, to get off the ground running with this thing and understanding, you know, just a simple fact of you don't want to use historical data on Renko bars. You know, that will help you out tenfold. You know, you want to use playback data because it's actually simulating the volume and everything else, you know, <clears throat> you know as far as fitting the Renko to your size. And then also the Renko, for you members, the Renko size I'm going to show you, it's going to be new to you. It's going to be a little new to you because it's not just a 110.10 or a 120 20. You know, these are optimized Renko settings from my, yeah, um, you know, you know that I optimized uh, for you. So um, that's going to be in the PDF for you members also, where it's, not, it's just not a standard uh, Renko size chart. We can only show a 120 and a 110 in the room, but I'm going to show you I can smooth price action out um, on these Renko uh, on these Renko sizes, and I'm going to show you how you can adjust it for your risk tolerance.